Minnesota Governor Tim Walz's emergency powers will last at least another 30 days. And not everyone agrees with the decision this week to renew the state's peacetime emergency. ABC 6 News reporter Rachel Mills is live in the studio tonight with where both sides stand on this issue. Rachel. Laura, Minnesota's peacetime emergency has lasted over 13 months, and there are deep divisions within the state legislature over the scope of the governor's power. It's an unconstitutional abuse of power, uh, clearly. Uh, he does not have the right to do what he's been doing over 400 days. The people have been left without their voices being heard. The executive council votes on extending the peacetime emergency. That council is made up of five state officials, all Democrats, including the governor. In a request to the council, Wall said the renewal is simply re-upping the state of emergency so that the status quo, the work we're doing, continues. Representative Greg David says Wall's emergency powers have lasted far too long. He has uh, effectively eliminated the legislature, one of the branches of government government and you can't do that uh, and he does not need his emergency powers he didn't he maybe needed them two weeks but representative Liz Bolden embraces the governor's emergency powers I am in support of, of them for right now um, and I would note that you know the federal government and 42 other states are also in a in that peacetime emergency state Bolden says the peacetime emergency is still happening because the pandemic is not over yet we are definitely moving in the right direction but it's not over um, and the those emerg that that peacetime emergency sort of declaration it, it gives us more tools in the toolbox to be able to support Minnesotans with his emergency powers Governor Walls has activated the National Guard set up testing and vaccination programs and implemented masking restrictions among other changes Bolden says even though he still has these powers things are winding down in the last month um, there have been nine executive orders that were rescinded including um, you know the mask mandate as, as was one of those. With the extension of the peacetime emergency, the eviction moratorium was also extended. Governor Wall says extending the peacetime emergency gives the state time to avoid overwhelming the courts once that moratorium expires. And just this week, legislative leaders have agreed to a plan. They call it a 15-week off-ramp for ending that eviction moratorium. Laura.